did you enjoy the spirit tunnel? Oh, I did not just enjoy it. I absolutely adored it. I had so much fun dancing and walking. I mean, just look at that guy. Look yes. at all that charisma. <laughs> oh my goodness. That, that brought me so much. Look at this. Y'all, this makes me so happy. I don't even know what to do with myself. I love seeing you have so much joy. You're just a ball of joy. Okay, so tell me, because you're a busy man, okay? Yep. A young man. What have you been up to since we seen you last? Well, this summer, I went on a lot of cool science museums tours, including the Houston Museum of Natural Science, the Exploratorium. Oh, that is major. And this is amazing. The Michigan Science Center, where I was the CEO for a day. Wow! You do big things, Sean. And I hear you are doing a podcast now? Yeah. What's and that like? One of my most recent podcasts was Chasing Life with Dr. Sanjay Gupta, Chief Medical Correspondent in CNN. That is amazing. Look at you. Woo! And you're how old? Ten. And you just started high school. Yep, ninth grade, baby. Now, we can't have you here without a little science knowledge today. What do you have for us today? So, I know that this new season of J-HUD is starting with feeling the love. So, you know me. I just had to bring a few things about love. Oh. And just know they're related to science. We got it. Well, we're ready. Take it away. What is, what is um, our lesson today? Well, the first thing is, the heart really does react to love. Love isn't just figurative. It doesn't just figuratively affect the heart. It actually biologically affects your heart. You see, when you go to a place you love, your heart starts to beat faster. But wait, it's not because of adrenaline. It's because of dopamine and serotonin, keeping you good and happy. And... Yes, sir. And you know, when there are two lovers who love each other, their heart rates can actually sync up. And this has been proven by scientists. So the next time you go to somewhere or someone you love, just know your heart rates are syncing up. Wow. That was beautiful. So that means our hearts can like beat at the same time? Literally. We'll feel the Sync up like two metronomes on a freely moving platform. What else do you have for us, Sean? So, I wanted to also talk about how love strengthens our bodies. Not only does it sync up your heart rate with people, but it also helps you fight off illnesses. Scientists say that people who feel loved heal faster from things like illnesses and paper cuts than people who don't really feel loved, which is why love doesn't only affect your brain, it affects your entire body, including the immune system. We're learning a lot about love and how deep it really is. Woo, that was a lot to process. You got anything else for us? Yeah, love shares our favorite places, just like the happy place, because when you all come here, what do you feel? Like... Do you feel happy? Yeah! Yay! And people love happiness, right? Yes. So, this love imprints itself on a place. Your brain starts to create synapses that are conditioned to release dopamine and serotonin and other things like that, such as oxytocin, whenever you come here. And love doesn't just shape our favorite places, it shapes our favorite people too, which is why whenever you go to a favorite auntie or your favorite cousin, then, bing bada boom, you're starting to feel some of that love. Aww! And I just wanted to mention that I'm feeling lots of love when I come here to you. Because we love you, Sean. Your happy place is here. What was your favorite part? Drop it in the comments and subscribe to help keep the joy coming.